Welcome back, everybody. I'm here now with your full forecast. Give me a second look at these current temperatures. You see things are pretty cool around the entire area. 61 degrees down here in Mason, 65 in Junction, 65 also out here in Merton. Paint Rock has 67 degrees, but a little bit cooler up here in the northern big country, 52 degrees in Abilene, 54 in Anson. Now lows are a little bit milder than they have been over these past couple of days, just because today was so warm of a day, getting up to the mid 80s. So for lows, we're going to see places mostly in the mid 50s to upper 40s. See, we have 50 degrees here in Ballinger, 57 in Abilene, Barrett, and Albany. A little bit cooler out west, 48 degrees in Snyder, Big Spring, Midland, and Garden City. Now tomorrow could be another warm, almost record-breaking day. You see we have about 83 degrees here in Coleman, 84 in Ballinger, 82 in Barrett, 84 also in Abilene. Records here in San Angelo are showing about 86 degrees, uh, 83 for Abilene. Now for quite a while we've been seeing sunny skies, um, dry weather, and very clear conditions with gusty winds. All of these leading to the possibility of having fire here in West Texas. We're not really in this lowest level, this elevated risk here that's surrounding parts of New Mexico um, and uh, Texas. However, we do have some more slight concerns. And the last time we went this long without seeing any rain whatsoever, that's when we had the Buck Fire in Throckmorton County. So showing you a fire weather forecast here just to let you know what could be going on here. This is Tuesday at 7 a.m. You see out here in the mountains in New Mexico, there's that increased chance. And all these particles moving across the screen, these are wind bars. So this is the direction of the winds. So if you keep in mind the direction of these winds, that's exactly where this fire blows up. The winds are moving from west to east, and that's where this fire grows. You see we have this slight chance up here in the northwest big country, as well as many parts of the Texas Panhandle as we get through Tuesday. We're going to go away overnight and see here winds are going to shift a little bit more. You see there's this curve that's developing out here around the Texas Panhandle, Oklahoma, and that's exactly where those fire chances are going to follow as well. Uh, we have a front that's going to be coming on Wednesday. Wednesday, so we're going to start to see those breezy winds as soon as tomorrow, and that's where a lot of these elevated fire chances are coming from. So, you know, I just told you there's a cold front coming by. This is where this cold front is going to be sitting on Wednesday. You see we have this dip of cooler air here with more of these wind barbs as well. As we get through Wednesday, this front is going to make its way west, and the high pressure is going to be sitting over top of us. So once we get through Wednesday, we're actually going to be seeing much nicer weather as we get through the rest of the week and leading into the weekend. So to finish things up with your seven-day forecast, you see we have those increasing temperatures as we get into the rest of the week and the weekend. We may see some more cloud cover as we get into next week because there's, there is another cold front Sunday night that could finally bring us some rain chances. So over to you, Adriana.